you join me in the red truck on a cold Tuesday afternoon, Tuesday the week of Thanksgiving, and with any luck, at the end of this video, this truck will be uh, a foot and a half shorter and a couple inches lowered. So I guess we'll see what happens and we'll find out together. All right, so a little status report. Obviously got the bed off, working on disassembly. Um, and uh, basically I'm gonna walk you guys through what the plan is here. Um, I was looking for videos on how to shorten this truck and didn't really find exactly what I was looking for. So hopefully this will help some other people, but on a uh, regular cab eight foot bed truck, it's my understanding that everything is exactly the same as a short bed truck. Everything is exactly the same. The frame just a little bit longer. So the plan for today is to essentially slide the whole suspension forward and replicate where it would be on a factory regular cab short bed truck. Um, and then basically cut the excess off the back of the frame. So the two numbers I'm working with right now are 14 inches forward and 19 inches off the back. Um, what I'm gonna do to verify that is compare the wheelbase measurements um, from a regular cab long bed to a short bed. Should be about 14 inches. One of the nice things is that these front bed mounts are the same, so that will help locate the short bed to verify whether um, our measurements are correct in terms of like centering the wheel in the wheel well of the bed. Um, and then from there, it's really just moving the shock mounts. Um, I've got the smaller 25 gallon fuel tank because the 34 gallon obviously won't fit. We're gonna need to move this cross member, I believe, um, and then stuff like shortening the fuel lines and the brake lines. So, um, I don't know. Uh, I think it's gonna be pretty cut and dry. Uh, I don't wanna try to make a mountain out of a molehill here. So I'll keep you guys posted as we make progress. So good news and bad news. Good news confirmed. We're going from 131 and a half to 117 and a half, a difference of 14 inches. The bad news, and maybe some of you watching this video that know more than me have been screaming this the whole time. Everything is exactly the same. This frame is not the same as a factory short bed. The factory short bed rise in the frame is much more sudden and not as gradual, which means that um, it's not going to be just move everything forward. It, it will, and will make it work, but um, it's not going to be as cut and dry um, as expected, which comes with the territory. So... Um, I think what I'm just going to have to start doing is uh, getting some of these rivets out. So we'll get the shock mounts out. I'm going to hopefully reuse them. Uh, we'll get this cross member out. I'm um, going to need to undo the parking brake linkage over there. And then I can set some jack stands under the frame and uh, get to work on the spring hangers. Uh, one thing that's going to happen is... Um, we're gonna lift the truck slightly by moving the geometry of this mounting point forward and therefore down and therefore the truck goes up. However, I'm not gonna be using these factory front spring hangers. I have two inch drop hangers, which I'm hoping is either a net neutral or maybe does get us a little bit of drop. Um, I certainly don't want the truck to go up at all. Um, Best case scenario, it's uh, it's level compared to the front. What's likely going to happen now is uh, this truck's probably going to get um, an axle flip at some point down the road, um, not anytime soon, because it still needs to be functional while the green truck is down. But that's the update. So not quite as simple as I thought it would be, but then again, nothing ever is. All right, so we got the front hangers in. There's a factory hole under this body mount. And then we measured really carefully to get the hangers the same on both sides. So now we're gonna hook, we're gonna dummy bolt the, uh, dummy bolt the springs in. Probably gonna hole saw through the frame back here to make it easy to access. And then that will help us locate the back. So we're gonna move 
14 inches on center forward off of this, which puts us roughly here. And we'll see what happens after that. All right, update time. Long bed and short bed frames are totally different. It is not as simple as replicating a factory setup. Uh, this is a 25 gallon fuel tank for a short bed truck. It does not fit. We have to hammer it to clear this cross member. Both of these cross members are in the factory long bed configuration. Um, this would not be here on a factory short bed truck. And instead, this hump would be a couple inches forward where the cross member is. Uh, we got creative and made it happen, but it's not bolt-in. Um, I bought this bracket, which is factory for a regular cab short bed, or I think any short bed, and didn't use it. Uh, so far, this looks like it's gonna work. We did not cut 19 inches off the back, we cut 18 and an eighth off the back, and that was after test fitting the bed and then terminating the frame right after or right before the bed because there's like a little lip that sits over top of the frame. And uh, that's the update for now. Um, so far we've been able to do this in about a day. Um, working pretty much start, you know, from right early in the morning onward. So it's totally doable, but it's uh, also kind of a pain in the ass. All right, so uh, another little update. Got everything in, obviously, driven it now a little bit, and uh, everything seems to be pretty good for the most part. Um, I'm not gonna go into a whole lot of detail on shortening the drive shaft. I basically cut it in a chop box and um, cut 14 inches out of it and re-welded it. Um, I'm gonna have a one piece made for this, so going through and talking about that I think is kind of a waste. Um, so it definitely picked up some rake. Um, kind of hard to tell, I guess, but it's got a couple inches of rake um, and uh, the wheel well gap is actually pretty similar, but it's typical GM where the wheel gap doesn't indicate a level truck. So it's gonna get a flip kit for sure. I ordered it already actually. So now I'm going to get ready and mount the rear bumper. Um, if you look, you can see that the frame is splayed out a little bit and the ride is like extremely rough. And what I think is happening is because there's no rear cross member, I think the frame has sprung out which is pushing the shackle in, which is causing the suspension to bind. So I'm gonna get to work now on mounting the bumper, which should kind of suck the back of the frame in and hopefully give me the proper suspension alignment. So on top is a factory bumper bracket. And then I trimmed off that ear in order to clear the hardware for the rear spring hangers. So I'm gonna go ahead and mark this out and uh, drill some holes and then stab the bumper on there. Um, and then maybe if I get really ambitious, I'll put the hitch back on, but that's pretty much it. I'm gonna go through as I'm editing this and uh, see if there's anything I missed. But um, for the most part, this is it. Like it's pretty easy to do, all things considered. Um, you just gotta you know, make sure you have all the parts on hand ahead of time and kind of know what you're up against. So hopefully this video helps some people. Um, if you've got any questions, just leave them in the comments and I'll do my best to answer them. So I guess I'll just wrap this up. Um, been driving this truck for about a week now. Everything's good, really no complaints. Um, still need to get the drive shaft made and uh, attaching the bumper brackets did not suck the frame in like I thought it was going to. So the rear suspension is still pretty bound up. Um, so I'm gonna have to pull the bed off when we do the C notch and make a cross member to take care of that. But otherwise, everything's good. Um, really no issues. Still need to do parking brake cables. Then after that, we'll be pretty much back to where we were when we started. So thanks for watching. Um, pretty fun little project. Happy with the results. The truck looks a lot better with a short bed. I think it'll look even better when it's lowered. And like I said before, if you guys have any questions, let's leave them in the comments and I'll do my best to answer them.